Hello, this is Sister Charlene Winston, and I'm coming to you today with Saturday's Daily Bible Study. I want to thank each of you for joining with me as we gather together to study the Word of the Lord, that we may be more proficient doers of His Word and not hearers only. Amen. As we meditate on His Word day and night, that we may uh, get closer to Him, that we may have peace of mind throughout all these trials and tribulations that are upon us at this time. Let us come to him. Let us magnify his name, and he will be with us, amen, and protect us, amen. Let us believe in him, amen. Our lesson for today is Christ suffered for us. Christ suffered for us, coming from 1 Peter uh, chapter 2, verse 18 to 25. But before we get started, I want to ask each of you, if something is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, if you have any questions or comments, please jot them at the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, join with, join with me and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified as we put out new lessons that we may study the word of the Lord together, get closer to him, have a better understanding of his word, that we may uh, 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 be at peace even in trials and tribulation. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get started with our lesson, but of course, we're going to have prayer first. Dear God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and strengthening us. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for leading us and guiding us in your true path of rising. We thank you for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with us as we go in, as we come in, and as we go out. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you got our mind, our thoughts, and our actions, that we do not speak or say anything incorrect or wrong or that will hurt someone, that we do have a a bridle on this fiery tongue of ours in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for all that you do in each one of our lives. Lord, we thank you that our eyes is open and we do see. Our ears is open and we do hear. And we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we study your word each and every day to get closer to you, to have a better understanding of your word, that we is and are more proficient doers of your word and not hearers only, and that we do meditate on your word as we go forward. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get started and our lesson, which is Christ suffered for us. Christ suffered for us. 1 Peter 2, verses 18 to 25. And the scripture lesson, ter the lex mm, excuse me, tongue tied there. And the scripture lesson text reads, Servants, be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. For this is commendable if because of conscience toward God one endures grief, suffering wrongfully. For what credit is it if, when you are beaten for your faults, you take it patiently? But when you do good and suffer it, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously. Who himself bore our sins on his own body on the tree. That we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but having, have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Amen, 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 amen. We want to make sure that we do return to the overseer of our souls. And by returning, that means we repent and we do change. We do uh, can stop doing what we were doing. Amen. We don't just... Uh, uh, say that we are sorry and keep doing the same thing. Amen. Commentary says, Servants in those days generally were slaves and had heathen masters 
who often use them cruelly. Yet the apostle directs them to be subject to their masters placed over them by providence with a fear to dishonor or offend God. And not only to those pleased with reasonable service, but to the severe and those angry without cause. Amen. That those that we are working on, those that we are dealing with, uh, we should uh, be unto them as unto God. As we know as Jesus Christ himself was a uh, humble unto all. Amen. Uh, it said this sinful misconduct of one relation does not justify sinful behavior in the other. The servant is bound to do his duty, though the master may be sinful, forward, and perverse. But masters should be meek and gentle to their servants and inferiors. What glory or distinction could it be for professed Christians to be patient when corrected for their faults? But if when they behaved well, they were ill-treated by proud and passionate heathen masters, yet bore it without peevish complaints, a purpose of revenge, and persevered in their duty, this would be acceptable to God as a distinguishing effect of His grace and would be reward, rewarded by Him. Amen. As it said in Scripture, you know, uh, if we are going to do good to those that do good to us, even the uh, Pharisees did that. If we are going to give to those, the sinners did that. Even if we are going to be good to those that are good to us, the sinners did that. If we are going to feed those that feed us, the sinners did that. We want to do something that is beyond what they do. We want to be do something that makes us stand out, that makes us show who we are whose we belong to. Amen. Christ's death was designed not only for an example of patience under sufferings, but he bore our sins. He bore the punishment of them and thereby satisfied divine justice. Hereby he takes them away from us. The fruits of Christ's sufferings are the death of sin, a new holy life of righteousness, for both which we have an example and powerful motives and ability to perform also from the death and resurrection of Christ and our justification. Christ was bruised and crucified as a sacrifice for our sins, and by his stripes the disease of our souls are cured. Here is man's sin. He goes astray. It is his own act, his misery. He goes astray from the from the pastor, from the shepherd, and from the flock, and so exposes himself to dangers without number. Here is the recovery by conversion. They are now returned as the effect of divine grace. This return is from all their errors and wanderings to Christ. Sinners before their conversion are always going astray. Their life is a continued error. But we want to make sure that as we uh, re become one of Christ's children, that we do not continue to go forth and, and make error and go into the world. Amen. And we also know that as we spoke of a few moments ago, that our, uh, it said, by his stripes, the disease of our souls are cured, and our body, mind, and soul is cured. As he, uh, Jesus spoke in his word, that we would go forth and heal the sick, cast out devils, and raise the dead. He did say just in the soul, but also in his mind and body as well. Amen. I pray you meditate on this wonderful lesson, and y'all have a great and blessed day.